Hi there, I'm John from CNCRI.com and today we're going to make a custom water jet metal stencil. For many years my company has been making custom stencils out of pretty much any material you can think of. Plywood, MDF, acrylic, polycarbonate, you name it. But I really enjoy making custom metal stencils. And the reason is they're incredibly durable. In this case here, it's actually 304 stainless steel, 1 16th inch thick, which is roughly one, uh, what, maybe two millimeters, a little bit less than that. And it's incredibly strong. Even with all these holes, if I was going to make this stencil out of any material, any other material than steel, um, it would literally just fall apart just by the weight of it. Now, the nice thing about stainless steel, especially for this application here, is that it allows the customer to have a lot of different options when it comes to using it. Obviously by the shape and the name on it, it's going to be used for barrels and as a result this will fit on the top of the barrel and they can either spray paint it or use a propane torch and actually sort of brand it with this information. And that's the nice thing about metal. Unlike any other material that we do here in the shop, metal will not melt from a propane torch. Um, I've done lots of stuff here in the shop using propane and it's just a wonderful way to brand wood. It looks very natural. You're producing charcoal which is incredibly resistant uh, to literally anything else, the sun, you know, rain, what have you. And unlike spray paint or other materials, it doesn't add any um, extra chemicals to the wood. It's a lot like laser engraving but the poor man's way of laser engraving is to use a propane torch and just brand some stainless steel. Because the stencil is made out of steel, um, there are some, definitely some design limitations. Uh, but if you look at it real close, even small little details come out really nice and relatively sharp. Now if you're not familiar with what a water jet is, uh, you just saw the video of course the water jet cutting this out. It's sort of like an in-between a laser and a CNC router. Um, where it's similar to the lasers, that it's mostly a non-contact method. There's no two-way feedback like a router where you have a router bit pushing and pulling through material. There's none of that really happening. 
although there are parts that do flip up and you got to take care of them. Uh, it's a lot like a router in that it's really strongly built because of the pressures involved. In this case here, it's not pressures from the material, it's actually pressures from the water. Now, another thing that you might not notice is that with the water jet, it's not just water shooting out. The water doesn't cut material. It's actually the abrasive or the garnet. So what was actually happening is you have high pressure water shooting down the nozzle and you have a little bit of sand going into that nozzle at the same time. And that's actually what does the cutting in the stainless steel. Now the advantage of that over let's say a plasma cutter is that it's a relatively cold process which means that material warping and those kind of things aren't really a consideration because everything stays relatively cool. But actually what's neat is that when you're water jet cutting metal, the water is actually really hot because of the abrasive action of the sand hitting the steel and it actually gets nice and warm. So if you're looking for custom stencils, any material, any size, any shape, any font, any image, contact me at cncri.com and we'll make them for you.